All right, hello. And today we are going to be tie dyeing a canvas tote bag. So of course for this, you're going to need the tote bag, uh, just a few bowls for some warm water, for the tie dye, some tie dye of course, gloves, popsicle sticks, and some elastics. What we are going to start off by doing is we are going to fold our bag so we can get it nice and small to put the elastics around. Okay, I'm just using two elastics. You are welcome to use more or less. It just depends on how much design you would like. So I would like to put one across and you wanna make sure it is nice and tight and it helps keep the color from bleeding through. I might just have to readjust a little bit. Once you do this, we are going to soak the bag in some warm water to just help loosen up the fabric to allow for the tie dye. Please be careful when you're doing this and making sure the water is not too hot. And you just wanna leave it in there for a little bit. While our bag is soaking, we are going to fill up two bowls with, again, some warm water. In one bowl, we are going to mix one of our colors. So in my case, I have blue and I have green. All right, once we have our tie-dye bags open, in one bowl you are going to put one color. So in this bowl I'm going to put green. And just using my popsicle stick, I'm just going to stir it around. Depending on how dark you'd like the color, you can add as much or as little, little as you'd like. And then in the other bowl, I'm going to add the blue dye. At this time, I would recommend you grab yourself a pair of gloves and you're going to put the pair of gloves on. Just a reminder, the tie-dye will stain everything, so please make sure you are protecting yourself, wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. All right, so our bag has now soaked for a little while. You're going to take it out. Again, please be careful, it may be warm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip the four different corners of the bag into the dye. You wanna keep it in for a few seconds. And I also like to do the opposite side right here. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect. Tie-dye is supposed to be all unique. Now on the other two corners, I'd like green, so I'm gonna bring it over and dip the other two corners in the green. Once you are done, it should look something like this. After this, you can rinse, dry your bag in the sun or in the dryer, and you can enjoy.